वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश सेवनटीन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द हैंगर कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन टी सिक्स एल्यूमिनियम इलाय रॉड रिजिड बीम ए सी एंड बी डी एंड स्प्रिंग इफ द वर्टिकल डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ एंड एफ इज फाइव मिलीमीटर डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ लोड पी रॉड ए बी एंड सी डी हैव सेम डायमीटर ऑफ टेन मिलीमीटर एंड रॉड ई एफ हैज़ अ डायमीटर ऑफ फिफ्टीन मिलीमीटर द स्प्रिंग हैज स्टिफनेस ऑफ हंड्रेड मेगा न्यूटन पर मीटर and is an un unstretched when p is equal to 0 so this is the hanger that consists of rod a b c d and e f and two beams a c and b d and there is a spring and this load is applied p at this point so due to this load this point moves 5 mm downward so uh, what we have to find we have to find this applied load p so let's start with the solution so we know that change in length is equal to p into l divided by a into e so we will find the internal load developed in rod a b c d and e f so for e f uh, when we cut it so it will the free body diagram is given below so p is downward so in order to balance it this p e f is equal to p that is upward same is the case if you cut the Uh, if you want to find the internal loading in a b and c d so you have to cut it so when you cut it so you can see that p is downward so in order to counterbalance it this p a b and this p b c p c d will be equal to p by 2 because this p is divided in these two rods and same you can see here p is applied at this end so this will cause it to move downwards so there will be a compression force in this spring so f spring will be equal to minus p now you have the internal loading in rod e b c d and e f as well as uh, in spring so we will move toward uh, finding first for a we will find change of point f with respect to point e so you have to basically find the movement of this point f with respect to this point e that is obtained by formula p into l divided by i will write p e f into l e f divided by a e f into e clear so i will write p is all p e f is equal to p length is 450 mm okay so length is 450 mm 450 mm so i will write for length is 0 in meter it is 0.450 diameter is pi by 4 pi by 4 d square so diameter of ef is 15 mm so in meter it is 0.015 and it will be square and what about e so e in our previous problem e for this uh, dogler uh, sorry uh, 2014 t6 aluminum is 73.1 gigapascal let me show you here in the book as well if so if you go to the end of this book so you can see this is this and the value is 73.1 gigapascal so 73 e is 73.1 into 10 to the power 3 and uh, 10 to the power 9 pascal so again when you solve this you will get p is 30 is a change in Point F with respect to point E is thirty-four point eight three into ten to the power minus six p, and this is positive value, so it means that point E moves downward. Same for rod B, A, B, and C, D. The both are same, so we are going to find out the uh, deflection of this uh, point B with respect to point A. so change in point b with respect to a is equal to p a b which is p by 2 length is again 450 which is 0.450 area pi by 4 d so d is 10 mm so in meter is 0.10 square and e is 73.1 into 10 to the power 9 
so when you solve this you will get 39.190 into 10 to the power minus 6 p it is also downward that it means that b moves away from point a now for spring or spring because in spring you can see point E moves downward towards point B uh, point uh, B so change in point E with respect to B is equal to spring force divided by K because we know that E of spring is equal to minus K into change of E A B not minus and the force is minus so we can say that this will be uh, sorry f spring is minus p so minus p divided by k is given as 100 mega newton per meter so in uh, newton per millimeter it is this so 100 into 10 to the power 3 and unit will be in millimeters so change of e with respect to b comes out to be 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 times p and this will also move downward now we have been given that total uh, the point f moves 5 millimeter downwards and this 5 millimeter downwards movement of this point f will include change in length of this in this rod ef ab and this spring so i will write change of ef e slash f plus change of a b slash a plus change of f uh, e, e slash b is equal to 5 millimeter so this is 34.83 into 10 to the power minus 6 times p plus this is 39.190 into 10 to the power minus 6 times p plus the last one is 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 times p is equal to 5 millimeter. So if you take p as common and sum all this and divide it by uh, if, uh, divide 5 by that value so you will get p is equal to 59505.71 newton or p will be equal to 59.5 kilo newton so this is the value of p that can be applied to this end so that this point f move 5 millimeter downward and that was all about this problem 4-17 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching